Hello and welcome to Challenge to Build. In today's review, I am going to be looking at this Comica Boom XD wireless microphone. This is their model D2B. This is their two transmitter and one receiver unit. And in this video, I will be going over the basic features, accessories, and audio quality checks along with distances. I am currently wearing the lapel mic underneath my sweatshirt and I have the transmitter here on my side. So without any more waiting, let's jump into the review. So first up, the audio for this segment is being recorded using the Comica Boom XD internal microphone without wind muff. And as you can see, I take it out of the box. The first thing you notice is the Comica brand logo. All of the equipment is stored in this hard plastic case with full zip. I unzip it here, and the first thing that comes out is going to be the user manual. You are gonna definitely wanna spend some time paging through this to familiarize yourself with some of the more in-depth features and functions uh, of your microphone. Also, how the manufacturer recommends uh, their use. You will see that the transmitter and receivers are in the shadow cut foam to keep them very secure for transportation. Um, also to help better protect the investment. Uh, first out of the case is your standard USB charging cable. Uh, the nice thing about this is it has three Type-C charging cables connected to it, which allows you to charge all three piece of pieces of equipment at the same time. Uh, note, you will need a charging block, so keep that in mind. Next up are the two supplied lapel mics, uh, featuring the standard 3.5 millimeter audio input cables. One of the features that I really like about these uh, lapel mics are the supplied plastic locking clips. As you can see, I'm going to show you how to insert them into the transmitter, going into the mic input jack, and then locking into position with the plastic clip. Uh, super nice feature. Uh, my old microphone did not have this, and I can tell you that every once in a while, the microphone would become unplugged, which is super frustrating. So that is a nice feature. Uh, next up is the supplied TRS to TRS audio jack cable. Uh, this is going to be for your standard video cameras. You can see that Canon and Nikon, etc., are on the label. Next up is the one that I am using. This is gonna be your TRRS, which is the gray plug, to TRS audio jack cable. This is going to be for most of your smartphones. You may need to get either a dongle or the proper receiver for whatever phone you have, so do your research there. And then finally, you see the wind sock or wind muff going on the external microphone. Simply just slip it on. There's a rubber band kind of connection point and it slips on nice and secure. This way here, it gives you the versatility you need for your microphones. So for this segment, I am recording all of the audio through the Comica XD wireless microphone with the supplied wind muff. And what I wanted to do is just kind of give you the overall size of the transmitter and receiver. And they all measure about the same size, which is about an inch and a half by two and a quarter inches. And if you look there, it's just a little over a half of an inch in width. The next thing we will notice is on the top of the transmitter, you will see the external mic locking buckle and the input for the lapel microphone, followed by the internal mic itself. Then on the side, you will see the power muting button followed by the pairing button. And then on the back, you will see the plastic belt clip. And then on the other side, you will notice the USB-C charging port followed by the reset hole. Next up is going to be the receiver. And just like the transmitter, it is very small. The dimensions are relatively the same. You can see it sitting here in the palm of my hand. On the top of the unit, you have two standard 3.5 millimeter outputs for audio, one of which is the headphone jack, which is a nice feature to allow you to hear the playback while recording, and the line out for the audio cable for either your smartphone or camera. 
On the side, you see the Type-C charging port, and then on the other side, you will have the power uh, mono stereo button followed by two A and B channel audio gains. We will get into that in a moment. Up on top, the reset button, and then on the back of the unit, the belt clip for securing it to your body and or camera. So in this segment, all of the audio is being recorded on the Comica Boom XD microphone using the supplied lapel microphone. And what I want to do is show you some of the basic LCD screen uh, display options, which first up is going to be the receiver battery status, followed by the mono stereo selection. You can see I'm pushing the mono stereo selection button on the side. And what it does is, is it changes it from uh, realizing that it's a single channel to stereo function. Uh, the stereo function allows you to record on an A and B channel. Uh, note, it does not realize the stereo function unless both receivers are connected to the unit and the receiver is in stereo mode. Now what I'm gonna do is turn on one of the transmitters and you will see that channel A will immediately light up solid white and that lets you know that you have connection between the transmitter and receiver. Next up, you can see the battery life indicator for the transmitter in the top right hand corner, followed that by the paired chain link icon. Next to that is the microphone, followed by the signal strength between the transmitter and receiver. The microphone can be simply muted by pushing the button on the side. You can see it get crossed out there, letting you know that it's muted. I'm going to turn it back on. And then what you are going to watch now is I'm going to turn on the other transmitter, watch the B channel immediately light up after it powers up, letting you know that it's connected with that solid white bar from B to B. And once you have both transmitters powered up, then you can switch it into uh, the stereo mode, which will then allow you to record a A and B channel uh, to complete the stereo recording. One thing that is really awesome about the receiver is it gives you the ability to have dynamic range or audio gain with the simple push of a button between the A and B channel. You can see the gain buttons on the side of the remote, A and B. You can push them individually and it will allow you to have a amplified sound anywhere between plus 12 decibels all the way down to minus 12 decibels for either channel. So uh, a great feature to give you added flexibility depending on what you're doing for your recording. So for the final aspect of this review video, what I'm going to do is put the Comica Boom XD wireless microphone through a little bit of a stress test and also try to give you some distances as far as um, connectivity between the transmitter and receiver. And for that, I'm going to use my metal building. I am in a 28 by 32 foot uh, pole building. It is metal, it is insulated, and it has drywall. So I'm gonna use that as a barrier. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around the shop uh, first off uh, to give you kind of audio clarity in the microphone. I am using the lapel mic with the receiver. I'm gonna drop that with the receiver on my belt uh, buckle here on my side. Uh, you're probably wondering why I have a measuring wheel as well. And this is to track distances. Uh, what you're going to see is I'm going to leave this building and walk away from it. And I documented the distance between the camera and my final destination using this measuring wheel. So that will give you some kind of reference to distance. And I have my other phone on here. I'm going to switch back and forth from the audio to this phone here to show you the difference between audio with the phone microphone and then the lapel microphone right here. 
So with that being said, the camera will stay in the same spot for the rest of this uh, segment. And I'm going to start walking around my shop. And I am in the far right hand corner. I am approximately 22 to 23 feet away from the phone. Figure out which way my hand goes. You can see it way over here. And I'm going to continue walking over here. I think I will switch over to the audio on this phone. So I'm back to the audio on this phone. I am in the other corner now. You can't even see the phone. It is, where's my hand? It's way over here. So I'm still about 23 to 24 feet away. And I'm going to continue walking around my shop. Uh, one thing that it does say in the directions is to always stand in front of the camera with your receiver. And I can tell you right now, I am to the side. You can see it sitting right there. And we are going to go directly behind the camera. Make sure I don't mess it up. You can see it there. It's a, you know, crazy good setup. You can see the receiver sitting right up on top of the phone. So I'm directly behind the camera. Uh, one thing about this is I don't know if it's picking up any of my audio. So post edit will be fun. Uh, if it doesn't, I guess I'll transfer over to this. So I have just successfully walked all the way around the garage. The farthest distance is about 23 to 24 feet away. Again, I am using the lapel mic with the transmitter on my side. And now for the serious stress test is I'm going to walk outside and then put some distance between me and the phone. So this is where the measuring wheel comes into play. So I'm going to go out my door. You will see the measuring wheel come up picture in picture right about now. And here we go. I know that my marker for distance over here is the gate. It is a beautiful, crisp fall morning, so happy fall. Uh, I am at my gate, which is approximately 60 feet away from the microphone. And I'm going to continue on again. I don't exactly know if my audio is good. So testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. My neighbors are going to probably look at me like, what is this guy doing? And... We are going to walk all the way out, out to the other side, side of the street. street. Can't even see my garage. Where is it at? There it is. It is. Way, way back, back there. there. So, so I am approximately 160, 160 feet away from the microphone. microphone. Uh, receiver. receiver so, so man, man that sun, sun glare is wicked and i'm gonna, gonna want to do, do is now i'm facing my garage, garage and i'm gonna, gonna go, ahead go ahead and spin, spin around. around one two three one, one two three one two three. One, two, three back around and i'm gonna do that one more time i'm going to spin around, around. Testing. testing one two three testing, testing one two three, three. Testing one, two, three, and it will be very interesting to see what the audio clarity is and whether or not I lost connection and where. So that, that is, is where, where this, this camera, camera is, going is going to come, to come into, into play. play. So that is going to conclude. Well, I guess it's not. Let's take a walk back in so we can uh, pick up the signal and we will see. So now I'm back at the gate, which is 60 feet. And take a walk up to the garage. Back in the garage. And now you can see me on the main camera. 
And that is going to conclude the stress test for the Comica Boom XD wireless microphone. Now I'm going to go in the post edit and see what kind of goodies I got. So stick around. So after a little bit of post edit fun, uh, I am back and I was able to review what kind of uh, audio clarity and distance we had. And I wanted to kind of give you kind of an overview of what you were watching and listening to. Um, well, the way that I kind of put it together in that clip was I laid in both videos and then cut the audio out primarily from the picture in picture, the one that I was holding around and walking around, you kind of heard it in the beginning, cut in and cut out. I wanted to give you a difference of clarity between the lapel mic and then just a standard phone camera. It kind of got a little tricky maybe to understand what was happening once I went outside and then went to the other side of the street. Um, the way that I put that segment together once I got out there is I left the audio clips parallel to each other, but I lowered the volume post edit in the picture in picture. Uh, it's very, very low on the audio scale. And the reason I did this was, is I always wanted you guys to hear what I was talking about, but in that segment, you will hear peaks of volume of what I'm saying. And those peaks that you are hearing or were hearing was the lapel mic. I have the lapel mic um, at its standard volume post edit. I never did change it. So those peaks and valleys that you heard in that segment was simply the lapel mic cutting in and out of connection with the receiver at a distance of 160 feet approximately. Um, and keep in mind, again, I did this in my metal building. And for anybody that is familiar with metal buildings, it is extremely difficult to get signal in and out of the style of buildings. So that is why I think this is a pretty extreme stress test. Um, it picked up, my lapel mic picked up audio again, right around 100 feet as I was walking back up my driveway. That's when you see the little uh, picture of the lapel mic uh, and the Comica Boom XD in the lower right hand corner. <clears throat> um, like I said, I put it together in this fashion. So this way here, you would never really lose what I was saying. But when it was in on the camera phone microphone, I have the audio set very, very, very low. Um, this way here, you can tell a substantial difference when the lapel mic kicks in and out at that distance. Once I started walking back up the driveway, I got to about 100 feet. It picked up signal. Um, and then I used that microphone for the rest of the segment. So that was the conclusion of the stress test. And uh, I'm very satisfied. I think it's a uh, fantastic microphone with great audio clarity. And not saying that the, the stress test was like a real life scenario, um, but it gives you some idea as far as distance. They, um, Comica, says that it has about a hundred meter, meter distance, which is approximately 300 feet. So depending on your surroundings, uh, settings, scenarios, what, what have you, um, the range can vary. So keep that in mind as you use your microphone. In conclusion, this right here, the Comica Boom XD wireless microphone is, in my opinion, a phenomenal purchase. Uh, quite the upgrade from my previous microphone with a ton of new features. The reason uh, I went with the two transmitter, one receiver unit is this way here. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I do do a lot of uh, video work um, by myself, but I got the second transmitter just in case there's ever an opportunity where somebody else would be coming in to work with me. Also, the main reason is this way here, I always have one on charge and or standby. Um, the reason I replaced my microphone is I accidentally crushed my last one and I chose the Comica brand because I have 
um, used their shotgun mics in the past and has have always been pleased with the audio quality uh, from those microphones. So I figured why not add the Comica wireless brand to my uh, filming arsenal. And I'm very pleased with my purchase. Um, overall, I think it's a great microphone set at a very reasonable price. Um, you get a lot of versatility, a lot of um, capability with this microphone, and I think it will be a great addition to your filming needs as well. So that concludes my review on this Comica Boom XD wireless mic. Thanks for watching. Now all you have to do is go out there and challenge your build. I will see you in an upcoming video and or review.